I will win this championship. My boat will leave all the boats behind. I am sure of that. Have you checked the boat? Check? Check for what? That it does not have any holes. No, it does not have holes. But why should I check that? If the boat has holes, it will sink in the river. Only if it doesn't have any holes, it will float. See, it floats. See, my boat crossed the finish line first. Yes, now let's pick up our boat and go home. Careful, don't drop the keys in the water. Don't worry, I will pick up the keys as they float in the water. But the keys will not float on water, they will sink. Now you confuse me. Some things float and others sink in water? Yes, let's go home and I will explain it to you. We were talking about things floating and sinking in water. Mm -hmm. When we put something in water, it will either float on the surface of water or sink to the bottom of the water. Like my boat floats in water and keys sink in water. Yes, let's do an experiment to find out more about sinking and floating. Oh cool, I love experiments. Let me wear my scientist apron. I will bring a tub of water and you bring the things which we will put in water and... And see if they float or sink. Why don't you collect your things and we will do the experiment together. Wow, you look like a real scientist. Yes, that's because I am a scientist. So scientist here with me and all you scientists watching. Let's start the experiment. I will first try to put this yellow duck of my bathtub in the water. What do you think people? Will it float or sink? Well, my guess is it will float. Now I will put this spoon in water. It should float. No, sink. No float. Let's put it and see. Oh, oh, it sinks. Yes, it does sink to the bottom. Let's try again. It sinks again. So we could conclude that spoon sinks in water. What about this rock? It will sink, I guess. Yes, it sinks. And my tennis ball? It should float. Oh yes, it floats. And your cricket ball? See, it sinks. So now, we have seen what floats and what sinks. But why do some things float and others sink? To understand that, you should first know what happens when we put something in water. What happens? It either sinks or floats. <laughs> yes, sinking or floating is the result. Oh, do you mean the reason? Mm-hmm. Let's do another experiment to find out the reason. Okay, let's do it. This is a bowling ball. See carefully what happens when I put this ball in the bowl of water. Look, some water has spilled into the bigger bowl. Yes, we can see that the ball has displaced water. But displaced? The bowling ball and the water cannot be at the same place at the same time. The water has to make way to make room for the bowling ball. This is called displacement. It means mm, being pushed out of place. <laughs> yes, you got it. 
So everything that is put in water displaces water? Yes, and there is another interesting thing about this displacement of water. What is that? To know that, you have to do something for me. Can you put the disc case? It implies that... The bowling ball has displaced volume of water equal to its own volume. Now let's weigh the ball and the volume of water. The ball is heavier than the water it displaced. Now let's repeat the same experiment with your toy boat. Okay. Now put this toy boat in the bowl of water. Okay. Let's see what happens now. It will displace water as all things. <laughs> yes. Now let's check the weight of the boat and the water it displaced on the balance. Oh, it balances. Yes, you see the boat has displaced water equal to its own weight. Yes, also the boat was floating in water. The boat floats in water because it displaces water equal to its own weight. Oh, now I can tell why the bowling ball sank in water. Why? Because the weight of the ball is more than the weight of the water it displaced. Hmm, that's right. As the ball moves down, it pushes the water up. Once the ball is completely underwater, it has all the space it needs. Then the water stops moving. The volume of the displaced water is equal to the volume of the ball. But volume is not what makes the ball sink. The ball sinks because it's heavy. This ball weighs 12 pounds. Water weighs something too. Yes, but less than the ball? <laughs> yes, a bowling ball sized chunk of water weighs around 10 pounds. The water wants to return to its original level but there is a 12 pound bowling ball in the way. As the bowling ball is heavier than the displaced chunk of water, it has more sinking power. Yes, absolutely. So the ball sinks. And what about the boat? Boats work in the same way. But the boats are heavy. Yes, the boats are heavy but they are also very large and lot of that space is just air. Because the boats are so large, they display an enormous volume of water. And all that water is heavy. Yes, so the boat cannot push down more than its own weight so the weight of the water keeps it afloat. And all that water is heavy. I have another doubt. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Ships are made of iron? Yes. This spoon is also made of iron. Yes. The boat floats but the spoon sinks. Yeah. Can you do another experiment to help you understand this? Why not? I am a scientist. I love experiments. <laughs> sure you are. Now bring some clay from your clay modeling kit. See, if I make a ball out of this clay and drop it in the bowl, what will happen? It will sink. Mm, yes, as you said Jimmy, it sinks. Now, I will make a boat-like structure with this clay and drop it in water. Okay. Let's see what happens now. See, it floats. The same as the boat and the spoon. First, you must know what is the term in science for floating of things. Yes, I must know. After all, I'm a scientist. It's called buoyancy. Uh, buoyancy it is. And buoyancy depends not only on the weight of the object but also its shape. So, a boat floats in water because it is large in size and the spoon sinks because of its compact shape. Yes, that's right. Now, can you summarize what we have learned today? Yes, why not? Objects when put in water will displace water and either float or sink. 
This depends on two factors, the weight of the object and the shape of the object. A good example is that of spoon and ship. Spoon and ship are made of same material, yet one sinks, another floats. This is because ship is large in size, whereas the spoon is compact. Oh wow! You have grasped the facts. Here's your chocolate.